Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to talk about a few really good cards that not everyone knows about and I think that have a lot of potential not only right now in the game but also in the future. So let's go ahead and kick it off with one of my favorite cards this format, Dimension Slice. So it's a normal trap card that says when a monster or monsters is special summoned to your side of the field, target one face up monster your opponent controls, banish that target. If the summon is an XYZ summon, you can activate this card the turn it was set. So that means if you are playing something like Burning Abyss, you have access to Tour Guide. Bam, you have XYZs for days. And the thing with the Burning Abyss deck is sometimes you just don't really want to go for that Acid Goal. Maybe there's something that is over 2500 attack. Dante can't get over it. Hey, you can go ahead and still go for that Ghost Trick Ollie card, get rid of the big monster, and then still maintain a bunch of free advantage in the game. Even the Satellar Knights, they are all about the XYZs. So being able to just go ahead and be like, you know what, I'm going to go for an XYZ play. Uh, maybe you go Black Ship of Corn, get rid of something, and then Dimension Slice, a different thing. You're able to get rid of so many cards. And banishing this format, guys, is just really key. Not being able to let those Shadals reactivate their effects, or maybe even getting rid of some of the Satellar Knights. You get rid of the Deneb, and then Altair does not have a really good target, or maybe he won't even have a target at all. So that is just really key, this format, to actually just banish stuff. Plus, if you're playing a deck that you know runs Soul Charge, I mean, you obviously have access to uh, going for those quick XYZ plays uh, in addition to you know the XYZ plays that you know you might already have in your deck. So I think that Dimension Slice, if you're playing Burning Abyss, there's no reason why you should not at least try out the card and let me know what you think of this. Uh, next up, we have Deep Dark Trap Hole. Now the thing is, the Trap Chick Trap Hole Nightmare has been seeing a decrease in play, and that's mainly due to Shadals, I would say, because uh, you know Trap Chick Trap Hole Nightmare just not the greatest card against Shadals because they're just going to recycle their cards and Winda is totally unaffected by this uh, on uh, well well, not, not affected by Deep Dark Travel, but unaffected by the Trap Tricks Travel Nightmare. But anyways, um, this card is actually really good against Winda. Plus, in the future, when once all those Pendulum-based decks come out, this will completely shut them down. So it's a uh, normal trap card that's actually searchable off of the Trap Tricks engine already. And it says, when a level 5 or higher effect monster or monsters is special summon, banish that level 5 or higher effect monster or monster. So that means they're going to go for a huge Pendulum play. Bam, banish everything. At that point, you've probably won the game. And even in against other decks to go for a soul charge. Maybe you're playing against Mermails and they're going to soul charge for that um, that title, multiple Mermails that are relatively high in level. You can just go ahead and banish everything. And at that point, they're not looking at a very favorable game. Or even if they activate Abyss Squall, this card is just fantastic. Now, even though sometimes you might be matched up against a deck that doesn't have level five or higher monsters, it's the same logic as running things like Blackhorn of Heaven. Sometimes you might not even be able to uh, activate Blackhorn of Heaven against certain decks. So it's the same logic with um, Blackhorn of Heaven, sometimes I know you're not going to be able to use this card uh, against something like Bujins. Yeah, it's just not going to be looking too good for you. But nonetheless, I still think that it is a pretty darn good card. And lastly, we have Back to Square One, which is a relatively fast card. I know Phoenix Wind Windblast has been seeing some play, but this card is also being uh, seen uh, some play in other uh, people that have been topping, especially with the Burning Abyss. Anything that can actually, you know, utilize things in the graveyard, even the Satellar Knights could actually run this card. It just helps deal with Winda is really what it comes down to, because uh, you know, things like wiretap just get in the way and being able to have a fast spell card uh, is just really key, uh, I, I would say, in this format because this format, I would say, can tactically be considered a control format where we have things like Windit in the game and in the future we'll have the Cliffos, which basically stun you because really nothing gets over that card. But back to square one will make it so you can actually go for your plays a little bit faster. Maybe uh, you're playing the Burning Abyss, you can start dumping your cards a little bit faster. You could also uh, dump the Deneb immediately and then go for Altair. Then you have your, uh, you know, Altair target immediately rather than going Deneb, search Altair, let Deneb die. Also, if you're facing against Knights. Let's say they go for first from Deneb, they add Altair, they want you to kill the Deneb so they have, you know, a good target, they can recycle their stuff. But if you go and back to score one, send that back to their hand, if they don't have like an option to go for a quick XYZ play, they're just going to have to resummon Deneb and basically reset themselves and then, you know, basically take them, it takes them another turn to essentially set up and get their little loop going. But uh, if they happen to have Vega, then yeah, never mind what I just said, because then they'll just go for those plays anyways. But nonetheless, I figured that that was a pretty good, uh, you know, set of cards. These cards over here, Back to Square One, Dimension Slice, and Deep Dark Trap. I really feel like Dimension Slice is super, super good this format. 
that because with all the decks that just love to spam the XYZs, I, I don't know why no one really ran Dimension Slice. It's a fantastic card and there's no cost to it and it's relatively easy to activate as long as, of course, you get your summon out. But Wiretap is just so popular this format. That's why I was like, you know, back to square one I think is better than Wind Blast. A lot of players doing the triple Wind Blast. I know Wind Blast is, you know, you can set it so it's, uh, you know, chainable and all that good stuff. But Wiretap is just so popular that every time I use that Wind Blast, man, it gets Wiretap and I'm like, oh, I just went minus. But some decks, it really doesn't matter if you go minus because you kind of need the cards in the graveyard anyways, like Deneb for your Altair plays anyways. But let me know, guys, if you like these cards or if you have any other cards that you think are really good this format that really no one uh, knows about, let me know in the comment section below. But I'm really digging Dimension Slice. I'd say this is one of my MVP cards and I, my Burning Abyss deck, I main deck triple these, man. This is like a, just banish whatever you want to banish. Well, it has to be face up. Um, actually, back to square one. Real quick, it just says target one monster on the field, so you can hit face downs. Uh, but more than likely, uh, I just prefer Dimension Slice because it's just, you get rid of the problem monster and you still get to make the XYZ to get free advantage, like, you know, Dante or that uh, Ghost Trick All You card or something like that. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Asian Eyes out.